Um, well, let's get started. Ghosts are real. That much I know. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see from the title, today's video is going to be my first reaction to the first trailer of the new remake of Children of the Corn. Now this is based on the short story that was written by Stephen King. This is going to be the 11th installment in this franchise. I have never actually talked about this franchise here. Um, I haven't watched this franchise actually in years. Since it's not one of my favorites, but it's very popular. Since the first one that came out back in 1984. So I don't even know what to expect about this one. Um, I read that this is a short story. I read it. Um, definitely I'm going to have to re read it for this and also re-watch the films because honestly i didn't remember much for me to give an opinion but i have my computer right here with me so let's check out that trailer since i have seen mixed like reactions about it i have seen people saying that it looks good and people saying that it looks garb like garbage so i don't even have to expect so I remember reading about this back in 2020 and actually the film, if you search for it, it appears as Children of the Corn of 2020, but of course it's 2023. So I have the trailer right here with me and without much to say, let's get into it and play. Prepare to witness the horrific rise of the next generation of evil. Based on the short story, by Stephen King, comes the nightmare like you've never seen it before. sucks. It's so hard sometimes you can hardly breathe. But I can help with your pain. Brace yourself. He who walks, he talked to me. He took care of me. So now I'm going to take care of him. By killing all the adults. For starters. Children of the Corn. Okay, so let me take it down. Okay, so essentially, of course, it's the same story, of course, although for what I read, they are trying to not make it exactly like the one from 1984. But at the end of the day, it's a remake. I don't know what is with the trailer, I think that it's the music. Why do you put me epic music in the background when it's a horror movie about children killing adults? Like, this is the type of films where I believe that you need to make those kids as creepy as you can. Like, they are going to be the star of the show here. So I want creepy ass kids. I want for me to fear them. Little kids. I don't feel that, like... It gave me a little bit of fire stutter, like the remake that we saw last year that in my opinion is one of the worst horror movies of 2022 it was bad. So I am really hoping that the trailer is misleading and that it's going to be actually good since I believe that it's a really good story, although it has been done in this one 11 times. Like we have seen so many versions of this with the sequels and of course the original and now this remake haven't been precisely good like 
I think that the last one is from 2018, if I am not mistaken, and that wasn't precisely good. It's for me, like, I remember watching it and I felt that, and I really like the original, although, like I said, I haven't watched it in a pretty long time. So this one is going to be coming for 18 days only in movie theaters in the US, starting from March 3rd, and then on March 21, it's going to be available on the streaming service of Shudder. I am really excited to see it still, although the trailer, I don't know, I don't feel that creepiness. I don't know, I think that something is missing, something is off, and like I said, for me, the music. Why do you put epic music in this? Like, this is not Fast and Furious, this is not like an epic story. Like, I don't know, I think that is too positive. And the girl looks creepy, I'm not gonna... Of course, I can't judge her. I haven't seen her. I need to see the full potential on it and also the kids. But for what it's presented on the trailer, it doesn't give the vibes of it. So it looks good in the terms of practical effects. So I am really hoping that in that term is going to be impressive since I think that we have seen it all. So I don't really have much to say other than, like I said, I haven't seen mixed reactions to it there's many people that believe that this type of stories by stephen king shouldn't be like redone and i think that definitely to a certain point i can agree like stephen king has made a lot of stories and short stories like the man has a lot to do and he is i think he is the number one author on the list of authors with their work being adapted to the big screen but he has made so many good stuff that I think that they deserve to be adapted instead of being redoing the same thing over and over. Like I said, for me, Firestarter was bad. I actually did my review. Um, leaving it right here in case that you're actually interested in hearing my opinion on that. But for the rest, I am excited. Um, it's not that I am not interested, but definitely I was expecting a little bit more. I am just really hoping that it's just a trailer and that the film is actually decent at least because honestly this is like hellraiser for me hellraiser the first one is very good the second can be good but for the rest for me it's a very mm, average franchise i don't believe that the other sequels are as good i actually like it the one that came out last year i did also a review on that but my general opinion on the franchise is that it can turn very boring and it's not one of my favorites. And Children of the Corn will be the same. For me, the first one is good. The other ones, not so much. I, I didn't feel anything. Like, like I, can't, I could have started by that. I didn't feel like that, like it's a creepy feeling. Like, mm, those kids are going to be nasty. Or those kids, it didn't project that. Like I said, for me, the music like wasn't the best choice like i heard but i saw that it, this is the red band trailer so i don't know if they're going to eventually release the green band trailer so maybe i can do a reaction to that since i did that with evil dead and i think that many we can agree that the green band trailer somehow was a little bit was a little bit better than the red band trailer i don't know how but it kind of was so Maybe this will happen again. So I will be keeping my eye on that. But for the rest, I think that that is all. So thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know down below what you thought. Um, are you planning on watching this? You're going to watch it in the theaters on Shudder. Shudder is a great streaming service. So I am counting on them that this is going to be good. Like they cannot disappoint me. Like there are only like a few, like a very small group of movies in Shudder that I don't like. But well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys on my next video. Bye. That much I know.